in, in, um, in a couple of videos, I'm going to give some examples of a, um, of, of a poetic form called the Villanelle. Uh, Villanelle is a, is a French import and it became particularly popular in the 20th century. Um, and it's, it's a beast of a form, to be honest. I mean, it's a tricky one, I think, for poets. What, the structure of a villanelle is that you have um, three line verses for five verses and the first line and the third line of the first verse is then repeated again and again in those five tercets, those three line verses. And then the last verse is a, uh, is a four line verse and the two lines that have been repeated are repeated at the very end. It sounds really complicated, but actually when you, when you hear it, it won't seem quite so daunting. And I'm going to start with um, arguably the most famous um, villanelle that's ever been written, I suppose. Uh, it's a poem by Dylan Thomas. And it's called Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end know dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay, rage rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learn too late they grieved it on its way, do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now, with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. <clears throat> so that was um, dedicated to, um, I mean, that was about his father, about Dylan Thomas's father, and uh, Dylan Thomas himself died only, I think, about a year later, when he was 39. Here's another um, troubled poet, uh, Fantastic Villanelle, by Sylvia Plath. And it's called Mad Girl's Love Song. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I lift my lids and all is born again. I think I made you up inside my head. The stars go waltzing out in blue and red and arbitrary blackness gallops in. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I dreamed that you bewitched me into bed and sung me moonstruck, kissed me quite insane. I think I made you up inside my head. 
God topples from the sky. Hell's fires fade. Exit seraphim and Satan's men. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I fancied you'd return the way you said. But I grow old and I forget your name. I think I made you up inside my head. I should have loved a thunderbird instead. At least when spring comes, they roar back again. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I think I made you up inside my head. And um, the final one in this little uh, video is a um, is a, a villanelle by W. H. Auden, who again was a sort of master of poetic form. And uh, this one is called "If I Could Tell You." Time will say nothing, but I told you so. Time only knows the price we have to pay. If I could tell you, I would let you know. If we should weep when clowns put on their show, if we should stumble when musicians play, time will say nothing but I told you so. There are no fortunes to be told, although because I love you more than I can say, if I could tell you, I would let you know. The winds must come from somewhere when they blow. There must be reasons why the leaves decay. Time will say nothing, but I told you so. Perhaps the roses really want to grow. The vision seriously intends to stay. If I could tell you, I would let you know. Suppose all the lions get up and go and all the brooks and soldiers run away. Will time say nothing but I told you so? If I could tell you, I would let you know.